plus adapting to the new normal because it's all weird for us, but it's our new normal. How local businesses are trying to stay, af stay afloat during this pandemic. So many businesses feeling the impact of COVID-19 with that stay-at-home order and lack of business. Many are struggling this morning to stay open. Yeah, Urban Pooch in Ravenswood is one of them. Owner Ed Kosmerik joins us right now this morning with a little bit more. Aw, look how cute your partner is there with you this morning. Thank you so much, both of you, for joining us. <laughs> Thank you very, 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 very much. This is Charlie Phillips joining me at Urban Pooch at 4501 North Ravenswood, and we are so excited and honored to be here. Well, Ed, let me ask you this. Um, you know, part of that $2 trillion uh, stimulus package includes $350 billion. This is just for small businesses to not only maintain, but to rehire laid off employees. Uh, and then that loan would be a forgiveness loan where you wouldn't have to pay it back. I'm wondering, Ed, this morning is, is this something you are considering? I don't know how many employees you have, but I would imagine uh, that you've had to make some tough decisions with regard to layoffs. You, you know, actually, we would love to get even a tiny part of that stimulus package. We had two locations. We closed down our Urban Pooch Training and Fitness Center we had 77 employees, 21 of those part-time, and we are down to a staff of 11. We laid off all of our other employees so they could collect unemployment because we want them to eat and to be able to survive you know, this pandemic. And we want to hire these folks back. And we want to get back to a new normal that's even better than what we left. I love it, and, and, and it is a difficult decision, I'm sure, that you had to make to close down one of the facilities and to lay people off, but, you know, maybe y your, your idea is right. Maybe that gets them the money they need to help them get through this. I want to talk to you, though, because, you know, obviously there are dogs that appreciate the service, but the, but the parents appreciate it because they're able to work off some of that energy, maybe get some of the training underway, but you saying that quite possibly they can still learn some of that online? Most definitely. I mean, we're still doing daycare and boarding. We have a lot of first responders and healthcare workers coming here, and we're just starting online training classes. In fact, our trainer, Pamela, is doing two different one on one Zoom sessions with new puppy owners because puppies can't wait for training. No, they right. can't. So we want to be part <laughs> of, of the solution, and I'll tell you, we are so grateful to be an essential business and to be of service. And we're also reaching out because we wanna tell first responders and healthcare workers out there, even if you haven't been to Urban Pooch, and if you need care for your dog or you're doing a 12 hour shift, give us a call at 773-942-6445 and we are going to work with you and help you take care of your dog. Because if dogs are at home for seven days without much playtime, you oh know, boy. they get to be a little rambunctious. <laughs> they sure do. Hey, you are so right about that. Hey, we want to thank you very much for joining us here this morning, Ed Kosmerik. Uh, we appreciate you taking care of the four-legged animals for us. <laughs> thank you very, very much. Have a great time. You too.